News, the Guam Regional Transit Authority is under the spotlight for the alleged misuse of hundreds of thousands of dollars. An audit also revealed that there's still no formal contract in place between the GRTA and their vendor, Kloppenberg Enterprises. We spoke with GRTA Executive Manager Enrique Augustine. Here's what he had to say. The Office of Public Accountability released its audit of the GRTA for 2017, and in it, the public auditor indicates violation of law and regulations. One of the more stunning findings is in the alleged misuse of over $670,000. Of that, the OPA says over $23,000 were from overbilling paratransit services. $350,000 are from unauthorized charges for equipment provided by the contractor, and nearly $300,000 thousand dollars were charges that exceeded authorized amounts in purchase orders. The OPA says it sampled two invoices and found that GRTA was billed for more hours than the amount the service was actually provided. For example, they found that on July 5th last year, GRTA was charged eight and a half hours of service, but the log showed buses only ran for six hours and 44 minutes. GRTA Executive Manager Enrique Augustine could not elaborate and respond to every detail, saying he would save that for next week's oversight hearing, but he did react to the findings. If they have any issue with, with billing, then my suggestion to the auditor is go through um, DOA and look at the invoice and the substantiating documents that we attach to the invoice so that the vendor will be paid, and in fact, they were paid. So now they're questioning why they were paid. So to me, overbilling means you pay for something that was not delivered, but, mm -hmm. but the vendor provided the buses. So we paid them for service rendered. Augustine points out that there have been many occasions in which their buses would break down. When that happens, Kloppenberg steps in and provides services using their equipment or buses to make up for that loss. Instead of not using the vendor-owned equipment and let the, uh, the ridership suffer, then we ask the, the vendor provided their own equipment and we paid them for it. And no time did they bill laws for service not rendered. Augustine also responded to the OPA's contention that there is no formal contract in place between GRTA and Kloppenberg Enterprises. The audit notes that instead of a contract, GRTA relied on three purchase orders issued by the General Services Agency. The executive manager acknowledges that they bypassed the multi-step bid process and went with a sole source contract after years of using a month-to-month -month contract because they only had one bidder. If you look at the, uh, the remarks made by the OPA mm -hmm. that it was uh, awarded under sole source because it was a single, single bidder situation and mm -hmm. the law allows that a bid be awarded uh, should there be only a single bid uh, situation. The bottom line, he points out, is that GRTA always stayed within their budget. We had the need, we had the money, we had the contract, and uh, we stayed within budget. The contract was awarded properly. You can read more online at PacificNewsCenter.com.